What up guys, D3 here, back again with another D3 Reviews. Today we got another PSA submission back, uh, I think roughly around 29 cards. Came back super duper fast, and I'm going to show you guys the results of what we graded this time around. Uh, let's get into it. So the first two cards here are going to be for one of our viewers on Drip. We pulled some stuff for him, uh, compliments to Psych, and he trusts me on my grading, on my eyes, and I appreciate that, and these are the results. We got an Ant-Man base here for him. And that is a, a Gem Mint 10. So starting off strong there. But this one here, a much bigger banger, is going to be a 2021 Luka Doncic. 75th Prism Parallel. Left to right looks really nice. Top to bottom looks really nice. And guess what? This is also a 10 on the slab right there. Very, very nice. These two will be headed your way uh, shortly after this video gets uploaded. Continuing on, we have a uh, Prism Ant-Man from uh, 2020, his rookie year as well, just the base. And this one is also a Gem Mint 10. Very nice. Very lucky, first three starting off strong here. Continuing on, we have a James Wiseman to 149, that is 29 out of 149, on the red marquee rookie. And that is also a Gem Mint 10. Very solid. Has not been having the best year. He's training and learning in G League right now. So hopefully he continues to improve and the Warriors can use him because he is very talented. Uh, Donruss, Jalen Green, Press Proof Purple. Well, numbered to 199 out of Donruss Hobby. And uh, you know how I feel about Jalen Green in our hometown. But uh, this one is going to be a Mint 9. I did see the grades online because I had to double check addresses and stuff, so I, I peeked by accident. But uh, knowing me, and you guys, if you have watched my past review videos, we graded a lot of Jalen Green, more Jalen Green, because I'm such a big fan. 2021, Revolution Groove Parallel. We're gonna see here a Gem Mint 10. We're looking really good. We're looking really pretty, and we're enjoying these grading results so far. Next one up is gonna be a 2020 Donruss Optic Jaden McDaniels rookie card. He did really well last year. This year he's been pretty quiet, but I still believe in him, so uh, thought I would grade this one here, give him a chance, and it did come back a gem in 10, and it helps that he's a deep three fan right here. Appreciate you, man, wearing the correct jersey number. Uh, continuing on, we got Jordan Poole here, 2019 status rookie. Um, also, Appreciate the number three on the jersey. But this one is unfortunately a mint nine. A little bit rough on the insert there. Very pretty looking card. So He's been slowing down a little bit, but he is a candidate for uh, sixth man of the year. So maybe we just hold him a bit longer to see what he does. Because he is a very good player. Up next is the 2019 Panini Status Tyler Hero. Sixth man of the year uh, last year. Um, probably the worst grade of the day. Not exactly sure why. And uh, let's give it a little look and tell me at home what you guys think, what the grade is there. Left to right. To me, it looked pretty solid. Top to bottom. Checking out the back. Take a close look there. And if you said PSA 8, you would be correct. This is probably the lowest grade out of our stack today. Really not sure why. Maybe there's some sort of uh, surface flaws that I'm unaware of. But uh, PSA 9 seems a little bit rough. Luckily, it's one of our lower end cards on the grading pile, so it's okay. Uh, and if you guys know by now, I'm also a LeBron James fan. So we have a zero gravity insert from Hoops. Pretty looking card there. And this one is going to be a 9 on the insert. I do like it says 9-9. Nine, nine. <laughs> a little subtle, subtle little uh, thing there. Not really sure why. Soft corners, most likely. That usually tends to be what happens with these. We got some more here. Elite Dominators, LeBron James. Donner's Optic on the fast break. Elite Dominators, very nice for the PC. And this one is a 9. Again, just a nice card. And I don't mind that it graded like this, just because it goes into the PC. If you are interested in any of these cards, though, I do throw them up on sale on my Drip uh, shop. 
if you want to stop by, referral link down below, save yourself 15 bucks on your first purchase. And uh, again, if you rip anything there with me, you can uh, get it graded. And I, I charge a grading fee for that, for whatever you want to grade. Hoops Premium Stock with Silver Laser. Comes back a Gem Mint 10. That is a banger right there. Been playing really, really well. I think they've won like 7 or 8 out of their last 10 games. So they're, they're doing insane. So boom, right into the 10 stack. Next one up, James Wiseman. White Prism. Tied to grade him. He was looking good initially at the beginning of the year. Fortunately, now in the G League, this is numbered to 149 on the white. Very, very clean looking card. Not exactly sure how this one did, but I do see soft corners, and this one, in fact, came back a uh, PSA 9, unfortunately, on this one. Would have been a big card, but then again, he's not doing much right now. Anyways. Next up is a Asia Donruss Elite. If you don't know, uh, Donruss Elite Asia, all the base cards are red, so I thought, oh, Jalen Green, fantastic team color match. I did know that there was a dimple right here when I sent it in. And I was praying for a 10 and that they would look past it, since Donruss tends to be a little bit difficult to grade on these paper stocks. But unfortunately, they did give it a 9. I'm grateful that it didn't go to an 8, but I, I at least knew what I was getting there. Next one up, Chronicles Lamello Ball Rookie, totally certified. And this one is going to be a 9. Again, um, the reason the totally certified stuff, I started to think about it more carefully. When you grade them, um, in each of the cereal boxes, the totally certified cards are in the last two cards in the very back of the stack. So they are going to be more uh, likely to be bumped around and a little bit harder to grade, so, unfortunately. Uh, 2021, Optic, LeBron James, but it says Prism down here. Again, LeBron fan, not going to really care too much about the grade, but this is a pretty tough card to pull, specifically of LeBron. And we get a near mid mid eight. Wow, that is much rougher than I expected. But again, really cool looking card. Seventy five years in the of the NBA. He's a legend. He's gonna be uh, no doubt a Hall of Famer. So very happy to grade that one. And we continue on. Oh, look at that! More LeBron James hoops. Road to the finals. Uh, twenty twenty one is the numbering on that. And that is against the Sun, so that is a mint 9 on that one. Cool card. And let me know. Leave a like in the comments down below if you like seeing me do these uh, PSA slab reveals, because I will be doing another submission next week, so I'll be filming that as well and showing you guys what I sent next. It's going to be much more diverse than just basketball this time, next time around, so that's going to be really cool. 2020 Chronicles, the Mellow Ball Silver on the honors. I bought this at a card show. Let's see how it did. Bought it for 20 bucks, and it is a Gem Mint 10. Let's freaking go. Uh, last sales for this is uh, 60 bucks, I believe, in a Gem Mint 10. So we got a little bit of profit on this if I do decide to sell it. Has not even really played this season at all because of ankle injury. So most likely I'm going to hold it. I believe in LaMelo. He's an actor. He's famous. And he, he isn't going to break, right? He ain't going to break. Case Breakers, 2022, the National Packs. Trey Young, one of my favorite players as well. And this is going to come back a 10. These are going to be from the uh, promotional packs, two-card packs. And this is numbered as well to 199. Six of 199. Deep three times two. Very happy to hit a 10 in this. And then we also hit the... A Lamello case breaker as well from the National. And in this one is also a Gem Mint 10. Super D Duper. 12 of 199 there on that one. And that is going to be uh, 3 times 4. Sweet card there. Really, really happy that these two case breaker cards came back at 10. Next one up is a 2021 Illusions Trophy Collection. Blue Giddy, this is 7 of 25 on the print. Uh, team color match on the parallel, so I had to give this a shot. Also wears number 3 on the jersey. <laughs> Gotta be goofy like that, but it's okay. But it comes back a 9 on there, which makes me a little sad, but very, very good card. Very, very solid card overall. 
Next one up, we're near the second half of it, and we got a P.J. Washington here, 24 of 55 on the acetate. You can see right through it, clearly Donruss. Don't believe we had a 2021 set of clearly this year, but this is going to be the rookie's green. Had to give it a shot. It looked really clean out of the pack, and it, this one came back a 9, but at least it's a 9-9, nine, nine, number 9 on the set, number 9 on the card. So that makes it kind of cool. He's been playing very, very solid overall. Continuing on, we've got Jalen Green, Revolution Base this time. Don't do me dirty, you know, you love me some uh, Jalen Green. And this one, in fact, comes back a PSA 10. Super awesome right there. Tons of potential. I love me some Jalen Green. And we continue on with a second groove. And this one is also going to be a PSA 10 right there. That's fancy. So, really building up that Jalen Green collection. And we are almost there. Last three slabs. This one's going to be 2021 Lamello Fearless Fast Break uh, Imposter Rookie Symbol there, which is why I wanted to grade it. And this one is going to be a PSA 10. And this is one's sick. I love the design on this card. And I think it's a very funny error that they have on this Lamello ball. And I believe Anthony Edwards also has the same exact uh, error with the Rookie Shield there even though it's not their rookie year. So I think it's a very cool card to have. Next one up is going to be Santi Aldama. I believe last month he was having a breakout month right off the bat, so I had to grade him. This is numbered out of 299 on the hollow bronze. Uh, thicker card on the recon stock, so let's see how we did. Ooh, okay. Gem Mint 10. My eyes do not deceive me. Very nice on the Gem Mint 10 there. Thicker card. So, we get a thicker slab, and it's harder to grade. So, I'm happy that this came back a 10. And it looks like we overwhelmed the 9s and 8s just by a little bit so far. And on our last card here, 2020 Anthony Edwards Asia. So, this is going to be out of T-Mall, 6-card box, 100-something dollar box, uh, with only 6 cards in it. And this one I was really excited for because it came back a Gem Mint 10 on the T-Mall. And that is awesome. I believe I'm going to have population one on this. I don't know too many people that would grade this. I would have to check later. And we'll have all the comps on the screen. Let me know how you think we did. These are all of our 10s. These are 9s. And we have two 8s. So our total number of 10s here is going to be 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, Tens, which would mean the other cards should be 14 in total. So, again, we broke 50% on our PSA 10 rate. Super duper excited for that. Always happy to have a good submitting run or submission run there. Again, if you guys want to rip with me and uh, grade whatever you rip on the spot, you let me know. Uh, we'll have two sets of eyes. We'll look at it together. And we'll decide if we want to send it in. If you like these videos, like it. Comment what you think down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Next week I'll be working on another submission. And it's going to be filled with Pokemon, F1, basketball. And maybe we'll throw a little bit of splash of uh, football or UFC. Uh, we'll find out. So catch you guys on the next one. Peace.